Well, we're down at the uh, Claremont Hotel uh, with the gentleman who actually owns this whole group, uh, Jim Mellon, um, giving us uh, an interview about not the hotels today, but actually about biomeds. And this is something you're very passionate about, I understand. Yeah, I came across the opportunity about three years ago. I bought a flat in San Francisco, and I've made quite a number of investments, some of which are uh, either domiciled or are going to be domiciled in the Isle of Man. Uh, and I'm very keen that the Isle of Man should get more engaged in what is probably the most exciting industry um, that we're going to see in the world in the next 10 or 20 years. Why? Well, because we're all getting older. Not us, obviously, but uh, the general population is getting older. Um, the populations of the uh, emerging markets are becoming uh, more susceptible to Western lifestyle diseases like obesity, diabetes, and other comorbidities. And that's going to throw up enormous opportunities for drug companies. And at the same time as that's happening, science is accelerating. We can't see it, but the pace of scientific development is much faster than any other period in history. And so one by one, diseases are getting knocked off at a very rapid rate. Now, this business about making a cluster in the Isle of Man, why is it good to be here? Well, it's a good question, and I think the government has got to be, uh, the government is proactive, but it's got to be more proactive in, in drawing people here, because what we don't have is a university, which is the normal draw for biotech uh, companies, because they, they're normally spun out of universities. But what we do have is a very attractive tax location and an entry point into the European market. There's a whole load of technical issues that need to be addressed, and one of the reasons for having this conference is for those issues to be addressed and for the government to take notice and perhaps do something to further encourage biotech companies, of whom there are a number here, but not a sufficient number, to move to the Isle of Man. And you're making a keynote speech on this? I'm making a speech, and I've got to do it tonight. All oh, right. Yeah. So. I mean, so you've got government officials here as well. You're going to, have to be banging on a few doors. Well, well, Alan Bell will be here. John Chiman will be here. And, uh, and obviously, we're in constant dialogue with them on other matters as well as biotech. And mm. uh, hopefully, something will evolve from it. But in America, 18% of GDP is spent on health care, of which about 10% is in drugs. Drugs are really important because they take people out of hospital. Hospital is the most expensive hotel you're ever going to stay in, a lot more expensive than the Claremont Hotel, as an example. And uh, so it, drugs are very important in displacing other health care costs, and they're going to become an increasing feature of scientific research and of commercialization, something the Isle of Man should get involved in in a big way. Still a big fan of the Isle of Man, then, by sounds of it? Well, most of my business is here. We have 400 people employed in the Isle of Man. And, uh, and, you know, it has its ups and downs, but generally it's up. And the future? How's it looking? Well, the future for the Isle of Man is very good. But they need to, you know, if we just invest in the status quo, we're going to be stuck. So we need to find new directions, like, for instance, the aircraft register a few years ago, of which my airplane was the number one on the register. Uh, and... Uh, this biotech is the perfect thing for the Isle of Man because it's high value added, it's got a lot of intellectual property uh, and legal aspects around it, accounting issues and so forth, and um, it is the industry of the future, so bring it here. Ireland, Luxembourg and Malta are competing very heavily and we need to find ways of countering their, their attack.